When the V-Cube 7 was first released in 2008, the cubing community was amazed. A 7x7 that turned smoothly and didn't pop. For some people, it was a dream finally realised. Nowadays, of course, there are many different 7x7s available, from the Shengshu to the Aofu. Some are cubic, some aren't. But they are all inspired in part by the V-Cube 7, the very first one. Except not. Back in 2004, before V-Cubes were even called V-Cubes, a man named Etienne de Foras was working on a project of his own. This is his 7x7. It was created by extending pieces from East Sheen 5x5 with all the pieces individually moulded and cast. Possibly the most striking thing here is that it is perfectly proportional. This is unlike every other 7x7 currently on the market, but why? Normally, when a 7x7 is created, it is made non-proportional in some way. This is to allow the corners of the puzzle to have a way to remain attached to the core for increased stability. In the case of the V-Cube, it was made pillowed, the sides bulging out to give the corner pieces more room. And in the case of the Shengshu, the outer layers are a larger size than the others, which also gives the corner pieces more room. Neither of these happen in De Forest's 7x7 though. It is a perfectly proportional 7x7 cube, which is considered an impossibility by many people. So what's going on? A close look at this picture reveals the answer. When a layer is rotated, the other layers actually move out, so that the corner piece doesn't fall off. Once the rotation is completed, the layers fall back into place. It's a very ingenious way of keeping it proportional. However, this cube appears to have been left incomplete. DeForest's website is still available, but it hasn't been updated in over 10 years, even though it was extremely close to completion at the time. He wanted to remake the moulds as they weren't accurate enough, but unfortunately, it appears to have been abandoned. Nevertheless, it still remains the first serious attempt at creating a 7x7, and it makes for a fascinating footnote in puzzle history.